When you think of LG, what first comes to mind? Phones, refrigerators, washers and dryers? All of the above probably fit into many people's minds, but it's LG's robot vacuum series we're focusing on today, specifically their latest and greatest, the HomeBot Turbo Plus. While there are a number of models in this series, this is the most recent one, featuring two cameras up front that can see depth the way we would expect. With a luxurious looking exterior and a price tag that fits the style, this is a vacuum that only does, well, everything. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and this is our review of the LG HomeBot Turbo Plus. So what does 999 US dollars give you? Well, quite a bit actually, and while this price isn't going to be realistic for anyone by any means, LG is certainly packing a lot into the box. Extra filters, brushes, magnetic barriers, a dry mop and a tray, and even a remote make up the contents here. This added value goes for general functionality too, and it truly seems there's nothing this robot vacuum doesn't do, and even some things it does do outside of the normal scope of robot vacuums. An all plastic body is made to look super luxurious via the faux metal finish, and the gold color we have for review is simply classy looking. There are a total of four cameras on the unit, one on top, one on bottom, and two on front for proper perspective as our eyes see. There are also additional sensors for detecting objects to the side, as the vacuum is not designed to bump into anything the way some others are. While the cameras and sensors work well the majority of the time, the vacuum has some particular difficulty with Victorian-style furniture legs. Yes, this seems oddly specific, but I have lots of furniture with these legs in my home, and the vacuum would constantly climb onto the corners of the feet as if it never saw those extensions, a problem it did not have with rounder square feet that ran straight up or down. In fact, due to its square nature, I also found that the vacuum scraped up against more walls than others did, resulting in quite a few paint marks on the side and scratches elsewhere. All robot vacuums do this to an extent, but this one did so more than others we reviewed. The vacuum is not as tall as other robot vacuums out there, and as a result was able to clean under furniture that other ones would get stuck under or would never even be able to go under in the first place. Navigation as a whole is simply stellar too, even so much so that it could find the base station on its own after being moved. Most robot vacuums cannot do this because they rely solely on map data to get to their chargers, and if moved, they can't make heads or tails of where they've been placed. Since this one has cameras and can identify the base station visually, it'll roam around until the home is found, docking to charge when needed. The HomeBot Turbo Plus cleans incredibly well too, especially when it comes to carpet. The roller brushes LG uses are more stiff than ones that other robot vacuums use, and as a result, end up picking up more hair. On top of this, the motor, a frictionless magnetic motor LG calls the Smart Inverter Motor, operates not only at a more quiet level of 60 decibels in regular mode, but will even automatically jump into turbo mode when it detects carpet or extra dirty spots. Even with this turbo mode, it's only 68 decibels and is easy to ignore while you're in the house too. Heck, we even watched a movie while it was vacuuming the area rug in the same room and didn't have a problem. Oh, and yes, this one passed the shag test too, although it struggled a tad while on that carpet versus some others we've tested that also passed it. The dust bin is a good size at 600 milliliters, putting it near the top of the capacity range for most robot vacuums, and LG outfits the vacuum with a couple different filters for more efficient operation and maintenance. Speaking of maintenance, LG actually warranties that new motor with an impressive 10-year warranty, proving they stand behind the vacuum's operation. Hard floor performance wasn't quite as good as carpet performance, but the microfiber cloth might help a bit with that. This cloth is meant to act as a dry mop of sorts, sort of like a dry Swiffer if you will, and is placed in a tray that slides onto the bottom of the vacuum. This tray keeps the vacuum from climbing onto carpeted surfaces, and about the only negative I could think of while using it is that it's not a wet mop. Although the nice thing is that since it's cloth, you can easily wash and dry it like you would anything else. The two brushes on the front also help pull things into the center and generally work incredibly well. LG offers two main cleaning modes with the vacuum, the default zigzag mode, which moves in a straight line until it gets near something, then turns around again and completes another row. Individual rooms are not broken down in this mode, but it keeps track of what needs to be cleaned and will return to finish the job when needed. A far more efficient way of cleaning is to turn on the cell by cell mode, which breaks each room into multiple cells consisting of four foot squares and finishes each square before moving on to the next. There's also a spot clean mode that moves in a spiral pattern to clean a specific spot, and a cool mode called MySpace, where you manually drive the vacuum around an area, and it commences cleaning inside of that perimeter after. 
This manual control is done either by the included remote, which features pretty much every function and manual control that's almost RC car responsive, or via the app. What's particularly cool about the app is that you can see through the cameras on the vacuum at all times, either when it's idle, being manually controlled, or even during the cleaning cycle. This is good since you can't view the live map data of the vacuum, and it also gives folks the option of roaming around the house and checking things while they're not at home. Map data is viewable historically, and you can even see exactly which path the vacuum took through your home by playing back the video, giving you insight into where it might have gotten stuck or took longer to clean. Viewing through the camera also adds a functionality you'd probably never expect from a robot vacuum. Home Guard. This does exactly what you'd think from hearing the name though, and the setup is easy. Choose any spot up to 10 meters away from the base station and point the vacuum towards a door or other entrance you'd like it to watch. If it sees any kind of movement in this mode, it'll flash its headlights, make a camera shutter sound, and send alerts out through the app, including pictures of what it saw. The vacuum will not record audio at any time, but this guard mode is beyond awesome and not only provides additional functionality other robots can only dream of, but it ultimately provided peace of mind for me while away on vacation during the review period. Does this added functionality make the price tag worth your while? When taking into consideration the ecosystem LG has built with its other smart appliances, as well as the extra functionality inside of the vacuum, I would say yes to an extent. However, if you're like me and have those curved furniture legs with extended feet, I'd probably stay away from it, unless LG of course comes up with a way to avoid this problem in the future. We hope you enjoyed that review and will subscribe to us for regularly updated content. We're not just about phones as you can tell, but any connected smart technology. Chat with us in your favorite social media outlet, and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 tech news coverage. Thanks for watching, and until next time.